Tuesday. All right? Woo! Tuesday 31st, not Tuesday, Thursday. Woo! All right. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you for the great work you do in standing up for uh, our liberties. And uh, thank you here in the state of Texas for doing the same, for setting the model of how conservative governance is supposed to be and what conservative movement is all about. Well, your, your uh, credentials are on the line on Tuesday. If the state of Texas and the Republican Party of Texas cannot nominate a conservative, what is the future of the conservative movement in this country? When I was running for president, I used to go around and say this is the most important election in my lifetime, maybe the most important election in the history of the country. Big things are at stake. The fundamental liberties you just heard Kelly talk about. Who would think that in the United States of America, we would have a president of the Justice Department who would systematically be going after people of faith, destroying and tearing down religious liberties. It's happening day in and day out by this Justice, Justice Department and this administration. Fundamental liberties, Obamacare. Right now, about 45% of the American public is on some form of government benefit. An all-time high, as well as an all-time high, as almost 50% of Americans don't pay any income tax. After Obamacare is implemented, 100% eventually will be dependent upon the federal government for your health care. And once that happens, so if you watched the Olympic ceremonies last night, you saw the British celebrating the government taking care of everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a country where we want the government to take care of everybody. This is a country that was founded on a government that was limited so you can take care of yourselves, your family, your community, and build the greatest nation in the history of the world. And we did, but that is what's at stake. And here in Texas, we expect Mitt Romney to win Texas and win by a big number here in the state of Texas. We expect whoever the winner is of this race for the Senate to win in the general election. The test for conservatives in the state of Texas is Cruise Day. Yeah! Woo! That's your test. Don't come and say, oh, we're going to win in the fall. That's fine. We need that. But as Kelly tells you, and I, look, I served 12 years in the United States Senate. Mike can tell you from over in the House and looking at the Senate with frustration. The United States Senate is in the Democratic hands. Obviously, you want to keep this Republican seat. But it's more than just keeping a Republican seat. It's making sure, look, I served in leadership when I was in the Senate for a few years. And every time we have somebody who isn't on board to stand up for the conservative principles, every single senator, one senator matters. Every senator matters on every issue. And when you have senators who are, quote, conservative, who are not standing for conservative principles, it just completely undermines everything we attempt to do. So having Republicans is good. But having Republicans who aren't conservative, who are willing to go down to Washington and cut deals every day, that is destructive. We have to have people of principle. We have to have people that we can trust to stand up and say the things that are unpopular because they're true. Ted has proven in his private career, he has proven in this race, he is willing to stand up for his convictions. And just as importantly, and this is important, someone who can articulate those conservative convictions in a compelling way. I can't tell you the number of times I get calls from conservatives around the country asking me to help out in the United States Senate even today because they don't have a conservative voice, someone who can go to the floor, go to the microphones, 
Make the case. Fight the battles. Make the persuasive arguments. They're fewer and farther between. We need someone with Ted's skills, with Ted's conviction. And from a state where he can say those things and still get elected. <laughs> This country is divided. And there are some states we can't elect conservatives, or maybe elect them once, but it's hard to reelect them. <laughs> but that's not Texas. And if we can't get conservatives out of Texas, then what hope do we have to move this country? So Tuesday is your day. Cruise day is your day. <laughs> to go out and shout loudly about where Texas is. There are many who are saying this is the conservative movement, the Tea Party movement is dying. Look, they're writing about it. It's on its last leg and it had its glorious moment two years ago, but it's gonna fade off into oblivion and the Republican Party is gonna go in the same direction it was heading before the revolution 20 years ago. The Reagan, 30 years ago, the Reagan Revolution. That it's gonna go back to the old style Republican Party with just being cheap Democrats. <laughs> just moving along where the Democrats wanna go, moving along that road to socialism, only slower. You can make a statement that here in this vitally important state, this dynamic, growing, prosperous state, but the conservative movement is alive and well, and that Texas, not California, will be the leading state for this country. So I asked all of you, as Alice was saying earlier, you've got 72 hours. And I, saw, I know some of you work, thankfully. <laughs> But you have 72 hours to make a difference in this country. This is your moment. Oh, you'll have, like I said, you'll, you'll work between now and November. But your moment as Tea Party, your moment as conservatives, is on cruise day. I'm asking each and every one of you for the next 72 hours to live, sleep, eat, and breathe this race. To do everything you possibly can. Because if we are not successful, the Republican establishment wins again. I know a little bit about this. <laughs> then we are on a very different course in this country. That's how important I think Tuesday is. 72 hours, live, sleep, eat, breathe. We've got our network, we have an organization called Patriot Voices, and as was mentioned, we're asking folks all around the country to call into Texas to help Ted Cruz. We're asking for donations all around the country to help Ted Cruz. I'm here to help Ted Cruz. And but this is your fight. This is your opportunity to speak to the nation. I know I can trust Texas. Thank you all very much for coming.